Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood puppy chaser. This video I'm doing for my shelter staff. I mean, it's good for vet techs, animal control, pretty much anybody if you're going to need to poke at all. This is kind of a quick little tutorial on if you can't practice at your work and you want to practice at home. Here I have created a little, I don't know what you'd call it, a little dummy test setup for a vein. Um, so what you'll need for that is you'll need a glove, you need a balloon, and then you need one of the long, long balloons that you'd use for the balloon animals. You'll need one of those, you'll need a pack of syringes, and some needles. Tractor Supply sells them, this is where I got these from Tractor Supply, and you'll have to find out in your area where you can get needles, but I'm pretty sure you can get these online as well. Definitely get lure lock syringes. You'll see, I'll, I'll show you, but it helps keep the needle in place because if you just get the standard syringes, the needles can pop off really easily. So here I have my syringe, and then I usually just use a 22 gauge. When you're placing a catheter, typically it's going to be 22 or 20. If you can place a catheter with an 18 gauge, I guarantee you, you'll be the vet's best friend. I mean, that's the, lar the larger of the needles, and they'll love you if you can place an 18 gauge. But to practice, I would say practice with a 22 gauge. So what you'll do is, you can see I've filled up the balloon with water, the regular balloon, and then I filled up the little long balloon with dish liquid, so you can tell when you hit it. Okay, so here I have my little balloon set up. There's my syringe, and instead of, I know you guys are going to want to peel it from right here, but the easiest way to get it open is to push it out just like that. Boop! And then, twist that off. This is why I like lure locks, is that way you can just twist the needle right on there, and then when you take the cap off, you don't have to worry about the actual needle sliding off of the syringe. So go ahead and take the cap off. You want the bevel, which, let me see if I can get that close. You want the bevel up. There you go. Bevel up. Go put your thumb to brace the vein to keep it from moving. And then you're going to want to come in at a side angle, so boop, poke it in right there. And then once you go in, you're going to pull back and you're going to get a little flash. And see, so you can see the different color. You get a flash of soap, put thumb there, boop, pull out. And that is how you simulate drawing blood at home. Lastly, we need to dispose of our needle, and if you don't have access to a vet with a sharps container or like a drop-off location, and you just need to dispose of it at your house, you have to do it safely. I save this packaging for that reason. Keep this together. Go ahead and insert it into your package to make sure, oops, there we go, make sure that that's covered by the plastic, like so, and then I take duct tape good strip of duct tape and wrap it around to make sure that no one is going to get poked, stuck. I always do a couple layers up at the top here, just like that, and there you go. No one's going to get poked, and then you can throw it away. I mean, if you're really worried about material coming back out, you can duct tape the bottom. Since, of course, this was dish liquid, even if the plunger does come out, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you want to keep that from happening, um, say you gave an injection and there's blood or something involved, then you're going to want to keep the plunger from coming out. There you go.